Well, you're not one of those people who believes that if you really understand the process, you'll really appreciate the product. Take new cars, for example. You can always go to the showroom and buy one off the floor, or you can take a trip and come right here to the factory and actually watch it being made. I mean, how often do you get to see an automobile go from a roll of steel to the finished product? At the Audi factory in Ingolstadt, Germany, you see the entire process up close and personal. This steel is about to be cut and formed into the doors, hood, trunk, and body of a brand new car. And you'll be there to see it all happen. On this one assembly line alone, more than 800 cars come rolling out each day. If you're visiting Barbados, skip the beach for a few hours and head to St. Andrews. That's where you'll find Highland Pottery. They've been around for about 30 years, and they still make pottery the old-fashioned way. No electricity needed. And the clay? It's all local. Then there's ice harvesting in Greenland. On these icebergs, the glacial ice can be as much as uh, 60,000 years old. And the cool thing about it is, it's also being used to make something called siku, which is vodka. And in Greenlandic, siku means ice. This ice is steam cleaned, and then it's transported to the distillery. And that's where you take the tour. It's free. The entire process from glacier to the bottle takes about 21 days. On the Viking River Cruises China tour, you'll visit Qingdishen, the birthplace of porcelain. Take the three-hour tour at the factory and watch the locals create delicate porcelain items. The usual rules apply. If you break it, you bought it. So let's recap. We've watched cars being made, vodka being made, and porcelain being made. Now, it's okay with me if you want to put the porcelain in the car, but please, don't drink and drive.